hey there everyone it's shaming from white coders and i'm here today to show you a demo of our new product called elementor query builder so i have shown you how to activate the license for the product after you install it uh, remember if you don't activate the license you can't really see the widget in your desired page so to demonstrate how it works I will just go to a page and um, create few examples and uh, show you step by step how it's done so I already have this page here created which um, has few of the queries that I want I also am using this meta box to create some um, you know post type and uh, also some custom fields to add to my posts for example if I go to this post list here and um, I will visit one post here and if I scroll down I should see my custom fields you see there are text field there are some select fields uh, there are number field and checkbox and um, anything you mention so let's go to a page with Elementor here so this is basically a demo that we already created for uh, everyone to demonstrate I want to show you so here um, I'm adding a section inside it I am going to call our posts widget of Elementor uh, there you go um, let's leave everything as it is now here the magic begins if you search with void or query you should find this little widget here you can drag and drop it here and now what you need to do is go to this post widget first um, in the query part you need to actually add a query id here i will just add it like this my query i'll copy that then i'll go here and i'll paste that here so after this uh, remember this query um, building thing you will not be able to see it in the preview you only can see it if you reload the page or if you see in the front end so um, let's first of all select here the post type if you want or you can just leave it is as it is and then also you can select your category tags or like whatever you need I will just go with some tag here uh, actually let's just remove it because that's better all right so now here is the magical part you know you can add your custom fields here uh, the field key uh, for example if you are using meta box you can find the field keys here uh, also there is a plugin uh, that is very useful for finding out the uh, meta keys of a post or page or my woocommerce whatever you call it um, I will give the link uh, in the description uh, so it's jam show post metadata I'll just activate it and uh, now if I go to my posts with the custom field I should be able to see the custom fields let's go here So if I scroll down as you can see I can see all the custom fields that are registered with this post uh, for example it's the thumbnail ID you can see the is featured so it is for this part see it's default to check so the value is one so let's do some query with it now I will just go around and uh, show you one of my already created example here so in this case uh, let's go here as you can see I have the query ID portfolio 001 here this post user also has this query ID portfolio 001 here so what did I put here I put here that 
if the meta key is, is featured and its value is 1 and the compare operator here you can like compare it with many things if you visit this link you can actually uh, see all the operator details um, that is like in our main site you can see the details there that you can use or in between anything and also you can add multiple field relations here like i can say uh, put custom field 2 and a value let's say and a compare operator let's say and and also um, i can define relation between these two fields it can be a or field or be an and field so it's really flexible here so let's see how it's working you see I said that if is featured is equals to 1 and the operator is in show only those posts and those four posts are listed here let's move on to the next one what I did here is uh, used two of the fields so one said the select field value should be choice 1 you can see that um, we have this let's for example this select field this is uh, the select field and it has two choices here selected as you can see the array is showing that it has choice one and choice three in its value so we are saying that if it is choice one and we are saying that if it is choice three and it's like we are showing it here and that's what hap is happening and let's move on to the next one here we are using the select field and again the same select field but this time the condition relation is and so if only both of these conditions satisfies that post will be shown so we have only one of one post that has both select field cho choice 3 and select field choice 1 selected together that is why only one post is being rendered here if you move on to the next one you can see we did not put anything here at all so what did we do here we actually used this feature which says that to only to get the post that has the featured images so many times in your site you have uh, some post that you don't actually want to show and you don't want to add featured image to but that post actually appears and you need to either manually remove them with the elementor's query or uh, do some other query yourself so what we are doing here is we are giving you three options you can show all of the posts with or without images you can only show the post with images and without images and also we are taking over the control of elementor's post per page control and doing it here you need to change it to have whatever you need so basically this control you have we have here it's not going to work okay so our wizard is taking control of this and using this so you can see that this one and this one we just did it without featured image so all the post here is without featured image then in here we have also the order by options so as you can see I said to post show the post in order by and also only show the one post so the post ID the um, you know you can either uh, ascend order it in ascending order or descending order as per you need with post ID post or of a title date modify date many things probably there will be more added in future but for now that's it now let's move on to some useful features with WooCommerce uh, with our plugin here. So as you can see I have this post widget here used and um, I have my query set here it's called product 001 query id and now what I did here is I took the meta key from WooCommerce you can go here and uh, grab your meta keys for your products. I'll just show you thanks to the plugin that I just mentioned JM's post metadata show metadata plugin you can easily see all the custom fields uh, that WooCommerce registers so you can see all the cool custom metadata 
for example here is the price this is the original price of the product after the discount also like you can have post attributes you see the name color etc then you can have this you can have regular price you can see sale price so SKU thumbnail ID tax status tax class many things are here you can use all of them here uh, so what we did here is uh, we took the sale price or like regular price or the price here and put it here and the value that we want to compare is 20 so we are saying if the price is less equals to 20 only show those products here and that's what is happening um, same goes for here uh, for here we are like comparing it, it with two prices with a comma in between as you can see and we are saying that if the price is between 10 to 20 show them and that's what's happening and if we move here to events calendar example so we are saying that to uh, show the post of um, events and uh, what we did here is like event venue id so you can also find same post data if you go to your events and uh, grab the custom field id that you need and then compare it with the value and compare function you can actually add here more and more and like do the condition here so this is a really useful way to query your data and show it on your site for your users uh, before you would have to um, no coding to get this how, how it's going how, how it has, has to be done but now you don't have to do it so stay tuned we will update the plugin with more features in future see you next time have a great day